Hey everyone, welcome to the next uh, video in this tutorial series. Uh, I actually, this is going to be kind of an update to the last video because there were some things that I noticed in our code that was uh, kind of causing some bugs to happen with the animation system. So I, I have fixed them and I kind of want to go over, I, I didn't record it when I fixed it, I kind of wish I did, but it's not too much stuff, but I want to go over what I uh, had to do to get it to work correctly. So if we go to our enemy object, uh, one thing that we had before, um, if on that, that uh, variable we had that said fra oh, frame length, one thing I did was I actually made a variable called frame length max, and I assigned it, uh, I'm going to assign it the number 8, and then frame length, so frame length max will always equal 8, so whenever we reset the frame length timer that we have, uh, we can reset it back without having to hard code the number 8, we can just type in reassign it the max of the frame length. Uh, so I changed that, but one thing I noticed, I, I put it on like 20 just to test something out, and I noticed the first frame of animation was twice as long as all the other frames of animation. Uh, and the way I ended up having to fix that was um, uh, I had to update the animation index. Uh, what we were doing before was we had self animation index plus equals one after we, I believe it was after we actually adjusted the image. But I actually put it right before we adjust the image uh, because we assigned the first image right when the HP equals zero. Um, and that kind of fixed it where the first frame wasn't twice as long. Uh, I know it's kind of confusing. If you want to just pause the video and look at my update function and how I did it, uh, you can just copy this down and study it. Uh, but just know there was an issue on the last video where that uh, you couldn't really tell because we had the frames going so fast. But if you slowed it down to like uh, 20 frames per image, you would notice the first one stayed on the screen for about 40 frames per image. Um, the other thing I, d I did was I noticed we didn't check for collision handling. So once you blew up a ship, you could still keep hitting the explosion and the explosion would cause another explosion to pop up because... When we turn the enemy into the explosion image, uh, it's still an enemy object and we're still checking for collision on it. So to fix that, I made a variable called is invincible. And essentially what this is gonna do is when we, when we destroy the enemy object so it starts exploding, this gets turned to true. And as long as this is true, collision detection doesn't work anymore. So if you go down here to our uh, get hit method when the enemy's HP equals zero the is invincible flag gets set to true and as long as he's invincible um, uh, where'd I put it yeah as long as he's invincible uh, it doesn't run this code because we put it in this if block so with this saying if he's not invincible then he can he can get hit but once his HP equals zero he's now invincible so it doesn't go into this block of code and it just passes the get hit method that fixed uh, um, collision detection for the enemy getting hit. However, the bullets were still hitting the ex uh, the explosion image and particle effects were still coming off of it. So what I had to do to fix that was I went into main and right here where we were spawning particles, I had to also check to see if the enemy's invincible because if, uh, if the enemy's not invincible, then spawn particles. However, if he is invincibles, uh, if he is invincible, uh, it won't spawn particles. So again, uh, I know it's kind of confusing. Just co uh, stop the video, copy my code, and it should work. And just study it, and you'll get what it's doing. Uh, but here, I'll play it and kind of show you. So now it works. I can keep shooting, and it just goes through the explosions. But before what it was doing is I would shoot and it would have collision detection on the enemy, but it would also have collision detection on the explosion itself. And it would just cause an infinite amount of explosions to pop up and uh, particle effects to keep going everywhere. But it works now. All right, so yeah, that was just a quick update on that. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.